Hi, my name is Ashish and this is the new playlist that we're going to start today. It's regarding the Azure Linux OEMs or Linux OEMs. I'm going to share the complete detailed videos regarding the Azure Linux OEMs covering most of the topics in detail. It would start with the basic topics like creation of the VMs, uh, creation and managing of the disk, automated configuration, how to create the VM images, load balance the VMs, create a scale set, a managed networking, backup the virtual machines, how you can deploy the Jenkins, CI CD with the zero pipelines, and some of the topics regarding how to protect your Linux VMs, how to use the images of the Linux VMs, how to run containers, applications, manage the storage, manage the networking, use the VM extensions and move and migrate your Linux VMs. So very good topics coming into this playlist. I'm going to uh, ask you to please subscribe to this channel, hit the bell icon and like and share all the videos. So let me just click on to the portal and take it from there. I'm inside the portal. So Azure Virtual Machines provides a fully configurable and flexible computing environment. This video will cover the basic Azure Virtual Machine deployment, such as selecting a VM size, a VM image, deploying a VM. So we have to first of all quickly create or open the Azure Cloud Shell by clicking in the icon here. I'm going to click on create storage. Okay, it'll take its time and after that I'm going to create a resource group in which I will place this uh, Linux VM. I'm using the Azure CLI command to create this Linux VM. So you can install Azure CLI locally on your onto your computer or you can use the Azure Cloud Shell to use Azure CLI on the browser itself without installing the Azure CLI on your computer. Okay. It would be viewable to you now if I click that. Okay, great. So I'm going to create the resource group, AZ group, create would be my resource group. Let's see how it works for the look East US. Let me it say succeeded. I have the my resource group created in the East US location. Now I'm going to create a virtual machine. It would be a Z VM create the source group. Source group. The name of my resource group is my resource group. And then the name of the VM would be my VM the name of the image would be Ubuntu LTS the name of the admin user account let's keep it as sir and generate SSH keys. Okay, my resource. Let me enter the the name of the location here as well. I'm sorry, I forgot it. My resource group. My resource. Resource group not found. Hold on a minute. I was using the norm, uh, the wrong resource group name. I created again my resource group VM, and then I am using it here. It's running. It'll take a few minutes to create the VM. Once the VM has been created, the Azure CLI outputs information about the VM. We'll have to make sure about the public IP address. This address can be used uh, for the access of the virtual machine after it is done. Let me pause the video and come back when it is done. Here it is. The MAC address is this, power state is the running, I have the private IP address is 10.0.0.4, my public IP address is 104.45.131.38, I'm going to connect to it, I'm going to use SSH, Azure user at and my public IP address which is 104.45.131.38. Thirty-eight. 
hit enter. I'm gonna continue list of known host. I'm logged into this computer. And if I would use sudo, enter c. Suru, root, the root at my VM home is your user. So I'm connected to this VM now successfully. So in this video, we created a Linux VM using the Azure CLI within the Azure Cloud Shell on the Azure portal. I did not install Azure CLI locally onto my computer. You can do that and then you can use the same set of commands uh, by using the Azure CLI command line interface from your uh, from your command prompt or from your PowerShell command prompt or from the PowerShell ISE. And regarding the Azure VM uh, Linux images, the Azure Marketplace includes many images that can be used to create VMs. To see the list of most commonly used VM, you can, so let me just quickly exit it from here exit it from here i'm back uh you see the connection to this public ip address is closed so i'm out of the linux vm now so let me just pull up the image list quickly put, put in the form of the table so here it is the command output returns the most popular vm images on azure it's centos debian OpenSUSE, Leap, RHEL, SLES, Ubuntu, Windows Server in the, the data centers. So if you want to only filter it for sent OS, so you will type in Azure VM image list. Then for, say you want to do it for RHEL. RHEL, all table. So it would only list the images available for RHEL, not for the most commonly used VM images. So this is how you deploy the VM images using the Azure CLI. I hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to subscribe and uh, to hit the bell icon onto this channel. Share this video as much as you can with all of your uh, teammates, known persons to give them the brief and the good understanding of Azure and the cloud computing. Till next time, have a great day ahead.